reprints are coming! The reprints are coming! What do we do? What do we do? Sell, 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 sell! Sell the Baby Voltage GTPs! Sell the booster boxes! Sell the singles! While we're at it, let's dump all of our Evolving Skies product as well! It's all going to zero! There's blood in the streets! Pokemon screwed us again! <sighs> What's up, folks? My name's Alex. This is Nostalgianomics. Why do we do this every new set that's released? Why do we act like the world's coming to an end and we're going to be stomping over rainbow rare Charizards in our living rooms and we're not going to be able to trade in a booster box for a Big Mac by the time this is over? I'm getting comments in my comment section asking if they should dump their Vivid Voltage product because of a reprint coming. You know, honestly, you see these videos on YouTube of people you know, causing this panic, causing this hysteria over a reprint restock that we don't even know how many is coming or if it's even coming or when it's coming. And it almost reminds me, kind of like the media, and I'm sorry if this hits a chord for anyone, but it's kind of like the media where they have that death toll at the top of your screen. Do you want me to just have like a Vivid Voltage ETB at the top of my screen? And every day I can kind of update the price and we can watch the chart go down, 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 and down. And you can get on every day and just and just feel unhappy and say, oh, down another dollar today. Oh, 75 cents. I lost 75 cents of my investment today. I feel like crap. All right, let's get this day over with. I mean, if you want to do that, I'll do it. I don't care. I mean, I, I hear that mass hysteria and panic sells. So, I mean, I might raise my viewership a little bit doing it that way. But, hey, I thought we could not be chicken little. I thought we could go, you know, jump on the computer. We could look at, you know, kind of X, Y, Sun and Moon, what other sets have been reprinted, how they're doing today. And then, you know, kind of get a nice, it has good feeling inside. Then we can go about our days and enjoy them and not be so panicked and stressed and worried. And then for those of you who still want to sell and they're worried about, you know, maybe possibly losing a little bit of their investment, hey, you can go be a day trader. You know, you bought you bought when the Vivid Voltage GTBs came out and now they've risen up, you can sell them. And then if the reprint comes up and they drop a little bit, you can buy them again. And then as the reprint starts to run out, you can sell them again and you can buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. And after all of it's over, you can make a dollar here and two dollars there while eBay takes all the fees and the USPS takes all the shipping costs and they get rich. And at the end, you know, months later, after moving hundreds, thousands of dollars in product, you can go buy yourself a Big Mac. We can sit there and talk about it, eat some hot, tasty fries, have a good conversation about, you know, how you wasted all your time and didn't make any money. But hey, let's jump over to the computer now. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's jump right into it. Let's see how stupid all those idiots were holding that product through all those reprints and crashes. So first one we're going to look at is XY Roaring Skies. And if you weren't around back then, XY Roaring Skies was one of the most popular sets of the time, probably second only to Flashfire. And everyone loved it. All the YouTubers were opening it. Any collection boxes with Roaring Skies packs in it were selling out. And the booster box prices were rising rapidly. They reached all the way in the high hundreds, 180, 190 a box. And then something crazy happened. Pokemon had never done anything in modern times to seal product like this, but they decided to do a massive reprint and it completely crashed the market. It crashed Roaring Skies boxes all the way under $80 a box. They were going into the low 70s. They were less than Battle Styles was, if that makes any sense. Going from one of the most popular sets to lower than Battle Styles. And it didn't bounce back. It wasn't like a slingshot back up. Everyone, the trust was broken. No one trusted sealed product. Um, no one wanted the boxes anymore because they were so widely available. The singles prices crashed, and it was kind of mass hysteria. Um, they did the same thing to Promo Clash at the same exact time, and uh, Promo Clash wasn't even as popular of a set. And uh, it, it got the same reprint, and the price crashed the same way in the low 70s. And uh, no one really knew what to do. They didn't know if they should dump their product, they should hold on to it, um, if they should buy because it's going to recover. No one knew. It was kind of the same type of thing right now with reprints. What happened? Well, those idiots, they held, and now those boxes are only going for $400 a box. $475 or best offer. $404 at auction. Maybe they should have dumped it when the uh, reprint happened or when all the panic and hysteria was going on. I don't know. Let's look at Primal Clash. Maybe it did a little worse. Ooh, no, nope, Primal Clash just as good. $405 at auction, $367 in shipping, $415. Okay. Hey, this one, just another data point. I'm not going to talk about this because everyone knows the evolution story, but... Evolutions, obviously seven, eight hundred dollars a box. You know, it was printed to oblivion, printed forever, tons of reprints, still doing fine. All right, let's move on to Shining Legends. I want to stop here a second. This hits home for me. I was in Shining Legends during this time. All right, I was invested pretty heavily. Had cases and cases worth VTBs and also uh, Ultra Premium collections. Um, the Ultra Premiums didn't get hit too much because they didn't get reprinted. But the Shining Legends ETBs, I don't know if you want to call it a reprint or a restock. They're both interchangeable, kind of in my mind, because I never really know what, what the truth is out there, but they got reprinted, restocked, and I had them back in the 80s and 90s when I started buying the cases, 
and the prices were rising, they were all the way up in the 180 to $200 range. And I was feeling great about myself. I was thinking, you know, it's almost time to start um, selling these and getting my stock down a little bit and taking my profits. And uh, I felt great. I felt like it was a great investment. It worked out perfect. And then a reprint happened, a restock happened. And these boxes started to crash. All of a sudden, it went from like three, 400 listings on all of eBay to over 2,000 listings in like a week. And every store, every big store had them. And the prices dropped all the way in the 70s. The prices went from almost 200 box to in the 70s, almost overnight. And I didn't know what to do. I, I couldn't get out. It was too late. And I didn't know if, you know, this was going to last a long time, if I was just going to have to dead product to sit on, if I was going to have to suck up, take my losses. And uh, so I sat on it. And as I watched it, I started seeing the supply dwindle pretty quickly. I started seeing the prices rise a little bit here and there, a few dollars, five dollars, ten dollars. And what did I do? When I started seeing that, I doubled down. I bought out more. I started buying more cases worth. I said, hey, this isn't going to last. You know, this is going to go pretty quick. It's not as many as everyone thought it was going to be. And uh, look at it today. What's it doing today? Let's see how stupid I was. I was so stupid that these boxes are going for... 280 plus shipping, 299 plus shipping, 300, 255, 350. See a pattern here? Let's look at some other sets. Unified Minds was reprinted, $300 a booster box. Unbroken Bonds, $400. Cosmic Eclipse in the 400s. Are you guys seeing a pattern? Are you seeing how stupid all these people were for holding all these reprints through the panic, through the through the restocks? So now we're at vivid voltage, and I have people in the comment section worried. And for good reason, I get it. There's panic videos out there. You know, no one knows how much restock reprints come in. Everyone thinks the prices are going to tank. And I guess you just need to ask yourself, am I in this for the long term? Do I believe in the product? Do I believe in Pokemon? Do I believe in the market? And if you do, well, I think we've seen it might be a good idea to hold. If you don't, if you want to take that few bucks and, and take your profits and look for something else, maybe it is time to do that. I can't tell you what to do with your money and your items. All I can do is show you what's happened in the, in the past, give you my experiences, what I've experienced in the past. And uh, hopefully, you know, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good uh, dictator for the future, for a good indicator for the future. So I uh, hope this helps everybody. Hey, I want to stop real quick. If anyone out there is watching these videos and they're liking them, uh, you know, consider subscribing to the channel. I see I'm getting a lot of views lately. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. Thanks for everyone who's liked and commented. I, I make sure to get back to every comment. Um, but if you are watching, liking the videos and everything, consider subscribing because I see the videos are a lot higher on a lot of the videos than the subscriber count is. So if you like this kind of content, if you like me, if you like the channel, consider doing that. Other than that, my name's Alex. This is Nostalgianomics, and I will be back here with more of these type of videos soon. I'm out.